Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan is a prairie province in Canada, which is a total area of 651,900 square kilometers and a land area of 592,534 square kilometers, the remainder being water area. Saskatchewan is bordered on the west by the province of Alberta, on the north by the Northwest Territories, on the east by Manitoba, and on the south by the U.S. states of Montana and North Dakota. As of December 2013, the population of Saskatchewan was estimated at 1,114,170. Residents primarily live in the southern half of the province. Of the total population, 257,300 live in the province's largest city, Saskatoon, while 210,000 live in the provincial capital, Regina. Other major cities include Prince Albert, Moose Jaw, Yorkton, Swift Current and North Battleford. Saskatchewan was first explored by Europeans in 1690 and settled in 1774, having also been inhabited for thousands of years by various indigenous groups. It became a province in 1905, its name derived from the Saskatchewan River. The river was known as Kisiska Siwani Sipli, swift flowing river in the Cree language. In the early 20th century the province became known as a stronghold for Canadian democratic socialism. Tommy Douglas, who was Premier from 1944 to 1961, became the first social democratic politician to be elected in North America. The province's economy is based on agriculture, mining, and energy. Saskatchewan's current Premier is Brad Wall and its Lieutenant Governor is Vaughan Solomon Schofield. In 1992, the federal and provincial governments signed a historic land claim agreement with Saskatchewan First Nations. The First Nations received compensation and were permitted to buy land on the open market for the tribes. They have acquired about 761,000 acres, 3079 kilometers squared, now reserve lands. Some First Nations have used their settlement to invest in urban areas, including Saskatoon. Geography as Saskatchewan's borders largely follow the geographic coordinates of longitude and latitude, the province is roughly a quadrilateral, or a shape with four sides. However the 49th parallel boundary and the 60th northern border appear curved on maps and globes. Additionally, the eastern boundary of the province is partially crooked rather than following a line of longitude, as correction lines were devised by surveyors prior to the Homestead Program, 1880-1928. Saskatchewan is part of the western provinces and is bounded on the west by Alberta, on the north by the Northwest Territories, on the northeast by Nunavut, on the east by Manitoba, and on the south by the American states of Montana and North Dakota. Saskatchewan has the distinction of being the only Canadian province for which no borders correspond to physical geographic features, that is they are all parallels and meridians. Along with Alberta, Saskatchewan is one of only two provinces that are landlocked. The overwhelming majority of Saskatchewan's population is located in the southern third of the province, south of the 53rd parallel. Saskatchewan contains two major natural regions, the Canadian Shield in the north and the Interior Plains in the south. Northern Saskatchewan is mostly covered by boreal forest except for the Lake Athabasca sand dunes, the largest active sand dunes in the world north of 58 Deg, and adjacent to the southern shore of Lake Athabasca. Southern Saskatchewan contains another area with sand dunes known as the Great Sand Hills covering over 300 square kilometers, 120 square miles. The Cypress Hills, located in the southwestern corner of Saskatchewan and Kildare Badlands, Grasslands National Park, are areas of the province that remained unglaciated during the last glaciation period. The province's highest point, at 1,392 metres, 4,567 feet, is located in the Cypress Hills less than 2 kilometres from the provincial boundary with Alberta. The lowest point is the shore of Lake Athabasca, at 213 metres, 699 feet. The province has 14 major drainage basins made up of various rivers and watersheds draining into the Arctic Ocean, Hudson Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. Climate 
Saskatchewan receives more hours of sunshine than any other Canadian province. The province lies far from any significant body of water. This fact, combined with its northerly latitude, gives it a warm, but not really hot, summer, corresponding to its humid continental climate, Koppen type DFB, in the central and most of the eastern parts of the province, as well as the Cypress Hills. Drying off to a semi arid steppe climate, Koppen type BSK, in the southwestern part of the province. Drought can affect agricultural areas during long periods with little or no precipitation at all. The northern parts of Saskatchewan, from about La Ronge northward, have a subarctic climate, Koppen DFC, with a shorter summer season. Summers can get very hot, sometimes above 38 DEGC, 100 DEGF, during the day, and with humidity decreasing from northeast to southwest. Warm southern winds blow from the plains and intermontane regions of the western United States during much of July and August. Very cool or hot but changeable air masses often occur during spring and in September. Winters are usually bitterly cold, with frequent Arctic air descending from the north. With high temperatures not breaking. 17 DEGC, 1 DEGF, for weeks at a time. Warm Chinook winds often blow from the west, bringing periods of mild weather. Annual precipitation averages 30 to 45 centimeters, 12 to 18 inches, across the province, with the bulk of rain falling in June, July, and August. Saskatchewan is one of the most tornado active parts of Canada averaging approximately 12 to 18 tornadoes per year, some violent. In 2012, 33 tornadoes were reported in the province. The Regina Cyclone took place in June 1912 when 28 people died in a F4 Fujita scale tornado. Severe and non-severe thunderstorm events occur in Saskatchewan, usually from early spring to late summer. Hail, strong winds and isolated tornadoes are a temporary occurrence. The hottest temperature ever recorded anywhere in Canada happened in Saskatchewan. The temperature rose to 45 degrees Celsius in Middale and Yellow Grass. The coldest ever recorded in the province was 56.7 degrees Celsius in Prince Albert, which is north of Saskatoon. History Saskatchewan has been populated by various indigenous peoples of North America, including members of the Sarsé, Blackfeet, Atsina, Cree, Sorto, Assiniboine, Nakeda, and Lakota Sioux. The first known European to enter Saskatchewan was Henry Kelsey in 1690, who travelled up the Saskatchewan River in hopes of trading fur with the province's indigenous peoples. The first permanent European settlement was a Hudson's Bay Company post at Cumberland House, founded in 1774 by Samuel Hearn. In 1803 the Louisiana Purchase transferred from France to the United States part of what is now Alberta and Saskatchewan. In 1818 it was ceded to the United Kingdom. Most of what is now Saskatchewan, though, was part of Rupert's land and controlled by the Hudson's Bay Company, which claimed rights to all watersheds flowing into Hudson Bay, including the Saskatchewan, Churchill, Assiniboine, Souris, and Quipple River systems. In the late 1850s and early 1860s, scientific expeditions led by John Palizer and Henry Yeo Hind explored the prairie region of the province. In 1870, Canada acquired the Hudson's Bay Company's territories and formed the Northwest Territories to administer the vast territory between British Columbia and Manitoba. The Crown also entered into a series of numbered treaties with the indigenous peoples of the area which serve as the basis of the relationship between First Nations, as they are called today, and the Crown. Since the late 20th century, land losses and inequities as a result of those treaties have been subject to negotiation for settlement between the First Nations in Saskatchewan and the federal government, in collaboration with provincial governments. In 1885, post-Confederation Canada's first naval battle was fought in Saskatchewan, when a steamship engaged the Metis at Batuk in the Northwest Rebellion. A seminal event in the history of what was to become Western Canada was the 1874 march west of the federal government's new Northwest Mounted Police. Despite poor equipment and lack of provisions, the men on the march persevered and established a federal presence in the new territory. 
historians have argued that had this expedition been unsuccessful, the expansionist United States would have been tempted to expand into the political vacuum. The construction of the Canadian Pacific Railway would likely have been delayed or taken a different, more northerly route, stunting the early growth of towns like Brandon, Regina, Medicine Hat and Calgary, had these existed at all. Failure to construct the railway could also have forced British Columbia to join the United States. In 1876, following their defeat of United States Army forces at the Battle of the Little Bighorn in Montana Territory in the United States, the Lakota chief Sitting Bull led several thousand of his people to Wood Mountain. Survivors and descendants founded Wood Mountain Reserve in 1914. European-Canadian settlement of the province started to take off as the Canadian Pacific Railway was built in the early 1880s, and the Canadian government divided up the land by the Dominion Land Survey and gave free land to any willing settlers. The Northwest Mounted Police set up several posts and forts across Saskatchewan, including Fort Walsh in the Cypress Hills, and Wood Mountain Post in south-central Saskatchewan near the United States border. Many meters people who had not been signatories to a treaty, had moved to the South Branch Settlement and Prince Albert District north of present-day Saskatoon following the Red River Rebellion in Manitoba in 1870. In the early 1880s, the Canadian government refused to hear the Metis grievances, which stemmed from land use issues. Finally, in 1885, the Metis, led by Louis Riel, staged the Northwest Rebellion and declared a provisional government. They were defeated by a Canadian militia brought to the Canadian prairies by the new Canadian Pacific Railway. Riel, who surrendered and was convicted of treason in a packed Regina courtroom, was hanged on November 16, 1885. Since then, the government has recognized the Metis as an Aboriginal people with status rights, and provided them with various benefits related to that status. 20th Century as more settlers came to the prairies on the railway, the population grew. On September 1, 1905, Saskatchewan became a province, with Inauguration Day held September 4. The Dominion Lands Act permitted settlers to acquire one quarter of a square mile of land to homestead and offered an additional quarter upon establishing a homestead. Immigration peaked in 1910, and in spite of the initial difficulties of frontier life, distance from towns, sod homes, and back-breaking labor, new settlers established a European-Canadian style of prosperous agrarian society. In 1913, the Saskatchewan Stock Growers Association was established as Saskatchewan's first ranchers' organization. At its the founding convention in 1913, the members established three goals, to watch over legislation, to forward the interests of the stock growers in every honorable and legitimate way and to suggest to Parliament legislation to meet changing conditions and requirements. Its farming equivalent, the Saskatchewan Grain Growers Association, was the dominant political force in the province until the 1920s. It had close ties with the governing Liberal Party. In the late 1920s, the Ku Klux Klan, imported from the United States and Ontario, gained brief popularity in nativist circles in Saskatchewan and Alberta. The Klan, briefly allied with the Provincial Conservative Party because of their mutual dislike for Premier James G. Jimmy Gardner and his Liberals, who ferociously fought the Klan, enjoyed about two years of prominence. It declined and disappeared, subject to widespread political and media opposition, plus internal scandals involving the use of the organization's funds. In 1970, the first annual Canadian Western Agribition was held in Regina. This farm industry trade show, with its strong emphasis on livestock, is rated as one of the five top livestock shows in North America, along with those in Houston, Denver, Louisville and Toronto. The province celebrated the 75th anniversary of its establishment in 1980, with Princess Margaret, Countess of Snowdon, presiding over the official ceremonies. In 2005, 25 years later, her sister, Queen Elizabeth II, attended the events held to mark Saskatchewan's centennial. Since the late 20th century, First Nations have become more politically active in seeking justice for past inequities, 
especially related to government taking of indigenous lands. The federal and provincial governments have negotiated on numerous land claims, and developed a program of treaty land entitlement, enabling First Nations to buy land to be taken into reserves with money from settlements of claims. Demographics According to the Canada 2011 census, the largest ethnic group in Saskatchewan is German, 28.6%, followed by English, 24.9%, Scottish, 18.9%, Canadian, 18.8%, Irish, 15.5%, Ukrainian, 13.5%, French, Franciscoy, 12.2%, First Nations, 12.1%, Norwegian, 6.9%, and Polish, 5.8%. The largest denominations by number of adherents according to the 2001 census were the Roman Catholic Church with 286,815, 30%. The United Church of Canada with 187,450, 20%. And the Lutherans with 78,520. 8%. 148,535, 15.4% responded no religion. Municipalities 10 largest municipalities by population. This list does not include Lloydminster, which is a total population of 27,804 but straddles the Alberta Saskatchewan border. As of 2011, 9,772 people lived on the Saskatchewan side, which would make it Saskatchewan's 10th largest municipality. All of the listed communities are considered cities by the province, with the exception of Corman Park, which is a rural municipality. Municipalities in the province with a population of 5,000 or more can receive official city status. Economy Historically, Saskatchewan's economy was primarily associated with agriculture. However, increasing diversification has resulted in agriculture, forestry, fishing, and hunting only making up 6.8% of the province's GDP. Saskatchewan grows a large portion of Canada's grain. Wheat is the most familiar crop and the one most often associated with the province. There are sheaves of wheat depicted on the coat of arms of Saskatchewan, but other grains like canola. Flax, rye, oats, peas, lentils, canary seed, and barley are also produced. Beef cattle production in the province is only exceeded by Alberta. Mining is also a major industry in the province, with Saskatchewan being the world's largest exporter of potash and uranium. In the northern part of the province, forestry is also a significant industry. Oil and natural gas production is also a very important part of Saskatchewan's economy, although the oil industry is larger. Among Canadian provinces, only Alberta exceeds Saskatchewan in overall oil production. Heavy crude is extracted in the Lloydminster Corobat Kindersley areas. Light crude is found in the Kindersley Swift Current areas as well as the Weyburn Estevan fields. Natural gas is found almost entirely in the western part of Saskatchewan. From the Primrose Lake area through Lloydminster, Unity, Kindersley, Leader, and around Maple Creek areas. Saskatchewan's GDP in 2006 was approximately 45.922 billion Canadian dollars, with economic sectors breaking down in the following way. A list of the top 100 companies includes the Potash Corporation of Saskatchewan, Federated Cooperatives Limited, and IPSCO. Major Saskatchewan-based Crown Corporations are Saskatchewan Government Insurance, SGI, SaskTel, Sask Energy, the province's main supplier of natural gas, and Sask Power. Bombardier runs the NATO Flying Training Centre at 15 Wing, near Moose Jaw. Bombardier was awarded a long-term contract in the late 1990s for $2.8 billion from the federal government for the purchase of military aircraft and the running of the training facility. Sask Power since 1929 has been the principal supplier of electricity in Saskatchewan, serving more than 451,000 customers and managing $4.5 billion in assets. Sask Power is a major employer in the province with almost 2,500 permanent full-time staff located in 71 communities. 
Provincial Finances The tabulated data covers each fiscal year, for example 2012 to 2013 covers April 1, 2012, March 31, 2013. All data is in $1,000 S. 1. These values reflect the estimated population at the beginning of the fiscal year. 2. These values reflect the debt of the general revenue fund alone at the end of the fiscal year. They do not reflect the debt of government service organizations, health authorities, crop insurance corporation, etc. 3. These values reflect the combined debt of the government service enterprises, crown corporations, at the end of the fiscal year. Sask Power Sask Energy, and Sask Tel account for 62.3%, 18.2%, and 12.1% of Crown debt, respectively, as of March 31, 2013. For the highest rate of provincial corporate income tax was reduced from 17% to 14% on July 1, 2006. It was further reduced to 13% on July 1, 2007, and finally to 12% on July 1, 2008. The tax on paid-up capital was reduced from 0.6% to 0.3% on July 1, 2006, to 0.15% on July 1, 2007, and abolished altogether on July 1, 2008. These displayed values were obtained by adding the corporate income tax for each year with the corporate capital tax. 5. The provincial sales tax, PST, rate was reduced from 7% to 5% on October 28, 2006. 6. These values are the credit ratings from Standard & Poor's as of the end of the fiscal year. Source, Government of Saskatchewan Government and Politics Saskatchewan has the same form of government as the other Canadian provinces with a lieutenant governor, who is the representative of the Crown in right of Saskatchewan, Premier, and a unicameral legislature. For many years, Saskatchewan was one of Canada's more progressive provinces, reflecting many of its citizens' feelings of alienation from the interests of large capital. In 1944 Tommy Douglas became Premier of the first avowedly socialist regional government in North America. Most of his members of the Legislative Assembly MLAs, represented rural and small-town ridings. Under his Cooperative Commonwealth Federation government, Saskatchewan became the first province to have Medicare. In 1961, Douglas left provincial politics to become the first leader of the federal New Democratic Party. Provincial politics in Saskatchewan is dominated by the Social Democratic New Democrats and the centre-right Saskatchewan Party with the latter holding the majority in the Legislative Assembly of Saskatchewan as of 2012. Numerous smaller political parties also run candidates in provincial elections, including the Green Party, Liberal Party, and the Progressive Conservative Party, but none is currently represented in the Legislative Assembly. Liberals and Conservatives generally caucus under the Saskatchewan Party banner in provincial affairs. After 16 years of new democratic governments under Premiers Roy Romainu and Lorne Calvert, the 2007 provincial election was won by the Saskatchewan Party under Brad Wall. In the 2011 election, Premier Wall and the Saskatchewan Party were returned with an increased majority. Recent federal elections have been dominated by the Conservative Party since the party currently represents 13 of 14 federal ridings in Saskatchewan while the Liberal Party of Canada represents one federal riding. While both Saskatoon and Regina, Saskatchewan's largest cities, are roughly twice the population of an urban riding in Canada, both are, as of the 2011 federal election, split into multiple ridings that blend them with rural communities. Law Enforcement Carinport Police Service, Corman Park Police Service, Domini Police Service Estevan Police Service, Fire Hills First Nation Police Service, Highway Transport Patrol, Special Constables, Luceland Police Service, Moose Jaw Police Service, Prince Albert Police Service, Regina Police Service, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Saskatchewan Conservation Officer, Special Constables, Saskatoon Police Service, University of Saskatchewan Department of Campus Safety, Special Constables. Banskoy Police Service, Wiscana Centre Police, 
Special Constables, Weyburn Police Service, Wilton Police Service, Pine Grove Correctional Center, Prince Albert Correctional Center, Regina Correctional Center, Regina Paul Dojak Youth Center, Saskatchewan Penitentiary, Saskatoon Correctional Center, Regional Psychiatric Center, Saskatoon Kilburn Hall. Education the first education on the prairies took place within the family groups of the First Nation and early fur trading settlers. There were only a few missionary or trading post schools established in Rupert's Land, later known as the Northwest Territories. The first 76 Northwest Territories school districts and the first Board of Education meeting formed in 1886. The pioneering boom formed ethnic bloc settlements. Communities were seeking education for their children similar to the schools of their homeland. Log cabins, and dwellings were constructed for the assembly of the community, school, church, dances and meetings. The prosperity of the Roaring Twenties and the success of farmers in proving up on their homesteads helped provide funding to standardize education. Textbooks, normal schools for educating teachers, Formal school curricula and state-of-the-art schoolhouse architectural plans provided continuity throughout the province. English as the school language helped to provide economic stability, because one community could communicate with another and goods could be traded and sold in a common language. The number of one-room schoolhouse districts across Saskatchewan totaled approximately 5,000 at the height of the system of education in the late 1940s. Following World War II, the transition from many one-room schoolhouses to fewer and larger consolidated modern technological town and city schools occurred as a means of ensuring technical education. School buses, highways, and family vehicles create ease and accessibility of a population shift to larger towns and cities. Combines and tractors mean that the farmer could successfully manage more than a quarter section of land. So there was a shift from family farms and subsistence crops to cash crops grown on many sections of land. School vouchers have been newly proposed as a means of allowing competition between rural schools and making the operation of cooperative schools practicable in rural areas. Healthcare Saskatchewan's medical health system is widely and inaccurately characterized as socialized medicine medical practitioners in Saskatchewan as in other Canadian provinces, are not civil servants but remit their accounts to the publicly funded Saskatchewan Medical Care Insurance Plan rather than to patients, that is a single-payer system. Unlike in Medicare in Australia and private medicine in the UK, Saskatchewan sets a statutory tariff for medical services which may not be exceeded. Saskatchewan medical health system has faced criticism due a lack of accessibility to the midwifery program. According to Leanne Smith, the Director for Maternal Services in the Saskatoon Health Region declared that half of the women who apply for the midwifery program are turned away. Ministry of Health data shows that midwives saw 1,233 clients in the 2012-13 fiscal year, which runs April to March. But in that fourth quarter, 359 women were still on waiting lists for immediate or future care. The Provincial Health Ministry received 47 letters about midwifery services in 2012, most of which asked for more midwives. As a continuing problem in the Saskatchewan healthcare system, more pressure has been placed to recruit more midwives for the province. Transportation Transportation in Saskatchewan includes an infrastructure system of roads, highways, freeways, airports, ferries, pipelines trails, waterways and railway systems serving a population of approximately 1,003,299, according to 2007 estimates, inhabitants year-round. It is funded primarily with local and federal government funds. The Saskatchewan Department of Highways and Transportation estimates that 80% of traffic is carried on the 5,031-kilometer principal system of highways. The Ministry of Highways and Infrastructure operates over 26,000 kilometers, 16,000 miles, of highways and divided highways. There are also municipal roads which comprise different surfaces. Asphalt concrete pavements comprise almost 9,000 kilometers, 5,600 miles, granular pavement almost 5,000 kilometers, 
3,100 miles, non-structural or thin membrane surface TMS are close to 7,000 km, 4,300 miles, and finally gravel highways make up over 5,600 km, 3,500 miles, through the province. In the northern sector, ice roads which can only be navigated in the winter months comprise another approximately 150 km, 93 miles, of travel. Saskatchewan has over 250,000 km, 150,000 miles, of roads and highways, the highest amount of road surface of any Canadian province. The major highways in Saskatchewan are the Trans-Canada Expressway, Yellowhead Highway Northern Trans-Canada Route, Louis Riel Trail, Canham Highway, Red Coat Trail, Northern Woods and Water Route, and Saskatchewan Saskota Travel Route. The first Canadian transcontinental railway was constructed by the Canadian Pacific Railway between 1881 and 1885. After the Great East-West Transcontinental Railway was built, North-South connector branch lines were established. The 1920s saw the largest rise in rail line track as the CPR and CNR fell into competition to provide rail service within 10 kilometers. In the 1960s there were applications for abandonment of branch lines. Today the only two passenger rail services in the province are the Canadian and Winnipeg, Churchill train, both operated by via rail. The Canadian is a transcontinental service linking Toronto with Vancouver. The main Saskatchewan waterways are the North Saskatchewan River or South Saskatchewan River routes. In total, there are 3,050 bridges maintained by the Department of Highways in Saskatchewan. There are currently 12 ferry services operating in the province, all under the jurisdiction of the Department of Highways. The Saskatoon Airport, YXE, was initially established as part of the Royal Canadian Air Force training program during World War II. It was renamed the John G. Diefenbaker Airport in the official ceremony, June 23, 1993. Roland J. Groom Airfield is the official designation for the Regina International Airport. YQR, as of August 3, 2005. The airport was established in 1930. Under the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan, BCATP, 20 service flying training schools, RAF, were established at various Saskatchewan locations in World War II. 15 Wing Moose Jaw is home to the Canadian Forces Formation Aerobatics Team, the Snowbirds. Airlines offering service to Saskatchewan are Air Canada, WestJet Airlines, United Airlines, Delta Airlines, Tranchistair, Norama Airlines, La Ronge Aviation Services Limited, La Loche Airways, Osprey Wings Limited, Buffalo Narrows Airways Limited, Skysavis Airlines, Ile Lacrosse Airways Limited, Voyage Air, Pronto Airways, Venture Air Limited, Pelican Narrows Air Service, Jackson Air Services Limited and Northern Dean Airways Limited. The Government of Canada has agreed to contribute $20 million for two new interchanges in Saskatoon. One of them being at the SK Highway 219 Lawn Avenue intersection with Circle Drive, the other at the Senator Sid Buckwild Bridge, Idlewild Freeway, and Circle Drive. This is part of the Asia Pacific Gateway and Corridor Initiative to improve access to the Canadian National Railway's intermodal freight terminal thereby increasing Asia Pacific trade. Also, the Government of Canada will contribute $27 million to Regina to construct a Canadian Pacific Railway CPR intermodal facility and improve infrastructure transportation to the facility from both national highway networks, SK Highway 1 the Trans-Canada Highway and SK Highway 11, Louis Riel Trail. This also is part of the Asia-Pacific Gateway and Corridor Initiative to improve access to the CPR terminal and increase Asia-Pacific trade. Arts and Culture Norman Mackenzie Art Gallery, Mendel Art Gallery, RCMP Heritage Center, Saskatchewan Western Development Museum, Paved Arts, Joe Farfard, Sculptor. Canadian television sitcoms Corner Gas and Little Mosque on the Prairie are both set in small Saskatchewan towns. The novels of W. O. Mitchell, Sinclair Ross, Frederick Philip Grove, Guy van der Heffey, Michael Helm and Gail Bowen are also frequently set in Saskatchewan, as are children's novels of Farley Mowat.
The English naturalist Grey Owl spent much of his life living and studying in what is now Prince Albert National Park. The arrogant worm song The Last Saskatchewan Pirate about a disgruntled farmer who takes up piracy on the namesake river mentions various parts of the province such as Saskatoon, Regina and Moose Jaw. Popular Quebecois band Les Trois Accords recorded a song in French called Saskatchewan on its first album, Gros Mammoth Album. It was the third single of that album and met moderate success in French Canada. The region is also referenced in the titular Buffy St. Marie cover Saskatchewan, by British brand Red Box. It was released as a single in 1984 and a reworked version appeared on their 1986 debut album The Circle and the Square. The Saskatchewan Rough Riders are the province's only major professional sports franchise, and are extremely popular across Saskatchewan. The team's fans are also found to congregate on game days throughout Canada, and collectively they are known as Rider Nation. Hockey is the most popular sport in the province. More than 490 NHL players have been born in Saskatchewan, the highest per capita output of any Canadian province, U.S. state, or European country. Notable NHL figures born in Saskatchewan include Keith Allen, Gordie Howe, Brian Trottier, Bernie Fderko, Clark Gillies, Fern Fleming, Bert Olmsted, Harry Watson, Elmer Lack, Max Bentley, Sid Abel, Doug Bentley, Eddie Shaw, Clint Smith, Brian Hextall, Johnny Bauer, Emile Francis, Glenn Hall, Chuck Rayner, Brad McCrimmon, Patrick Marlowe, Dave Manson, Theo Fleury, Terry Harper, Wade Redden, Brian Prop, Scott Hartnell, and Chris Kunitz. In 2006, the founder of One Red Paper Clip, Cal McDonald, ended his trading game after swapping a movie role in the film Donna on demand for a two-story farmhouse in Kipling, Saskatchewan. Provincial Symbols The flag of Saskatchewan was officially adopted on September 22, 1969. The flag features the provincial shield in the upper quarter nearest the staff, with the floral emblem, the prairie lily, in the fly. The upper green, in forest green, half of the flag represents the northern Saskatchewan forest lands, while the golden lower half of the flag symbolizes the southern wheat fields and prairies. A province-wide competition was held to design the flag, and drew over 4,000 entries. The winning design was by Anthony Drake, then living in Hodgeville. In 2005, Saskatchewan Environment held a province-wide vote to recognize Saskatchewan's centennial year, receiving more than 10,000 online and mail-in votes from the public. The walleye was the overwhelming favorite of the six native fish species nominated for the designation, receiving more than half the votes cast. Other species in the running were the lake sturgeon, lake trout, lake whitefish, northern pike and yellow perch. Saskatchewan's other symbols include the tartan, the license plate, and the provincial flower. Saskatchewan's official tartan was registered with the Court of Lord Lion King of Arms in Scotland in 1961. It has seven colours, gold, brown, green, red, yellow, white and black. The provincial license plates display the slogan Land of Living Skies. The provincial flower of Saskatchewan is the western red lily. Centennial Celebrations in 2005, Saskatchewan celebrated its centennial. To honour it, the Royal Canadian Mint issued a commemorative $5 coin depicting Canada's wheat fields as well as a circulation 25-cent coin of a similar design. Queen Elizabeth II and the Duke of Edinburgh visited Regina, Saskatoon and Lumsden, and the Saskatchewan rear Joni Mitchell issued an album in Saskatchewan's honour. Climate Change the effects of climate change in Saskatchewan are now being observed in parts of the province. There is evidence of reduction of biomass in Saskatchewan's boreal forests, as with those of other Canadian prairie provinces, that is linked by researchers to drought-related water stress, stemming from global warming, most likely caused by greenhouse gas emissions. While studies, as early as 1988, Williams, A.L., 1988, have shown that climate change will affect agriculture, whether the effects can be mitigated through adaptations of cultivars, or crops, is less clear. 
resiliency of ecosystems may decline with large changes in temperature. The provincial government has responded to the threat of climate change by introducing a plan to reduce carbon emissions, the Saskatchewan Energy and Climate Change Plan, in June, 2007 and North Dakota. Saskatchewan has the distinction of being the only Canadian province for which no borders correspond to physical geographic features, that is they are all parallels and meridians. Along with Alberta, Saskatchewan is one of only two provinces that are landlocked. The overwhelming majority of Saskatchewan's population is located in the southern third of the province, south of the 53rd parallel. Saskatchewan contains two major natural regions, the Canadian Shield in the north and the Interior Plains in the south. Northern Saskatchewan is mostly covered by boreal forest except for the Lake Athabasca sand dunes, the largest active sand dunes in the world north of 58 Deg, and adjacent to the southern shore of Lake Athabasca. Geography As Saskatchewan's borders largely follow the geographic coordinates of longitude and latitude, the province is roughly a quadrilateral, or a shape with four sides. However the 49th parallel boundary and the 60th northern border appear curved on maps and globes. Additionally, the eastern boundary of the province is partially crooked rather than following a line of longitude, as correction lines were devised by surveyors prior to the Homestead Program, 1880-1928. Saskatchewan is part of the western provinces and is bounded on the west by Alberta, on the north by the Northwest Territories, on the northeast by Nunavut, on the east by Manitoba, and on the south by the American states of Mon 44-1961, became the first social democratic politician to be elected in North America. The province's economy is based on agriculture, mining, and energy. Saskatchewan's current premier is Brad Wall and its lieutenant governor is Vaughan Solomon Schofield. In 1992, the federal and provincial governments signed a historic land claim agreement with Saskatchewan First Nations. The First Nations received compensation and were permitted to buy land on the open market for the tribes. They have acquired about 761,000 acres, 3079 kilometers squared, now reserve lands. Some First Nations have used their settlement to invest in urban areas, including Saskatoon. Saskatchewan Saskatchewan is a prairie province in Canada, which is a total area of 651,900 square kilometres and a land area of 592,534 square kilometres, the remainder being water area. Saskatchewan is bordered on the west by the province of Alberta, on the north by the Northwest Territories, on the east by Manitoba, and on the south by the U.S. states of Montana and North Dakota. As of December 2013, the population of Saskatchewan was estimated at 1,114,170. Residents primarily live in the southern half of the province. Of the total population, 257,300 live in the province's largest city, Saskatoon, while 210,000 live in the provincial capital, Regina. Other major cities include Prince Albert, Moose Jaw, Yorkton, Swift Current and North Battleford. Saskatchewan was first explored by Europeans in 1690 and settled in 1774, having also been inhabited for thousands of years by various indigenous groups. It became a province in 1905, its name derived from the Saskatchewan River. The river was known as Kisiskasiwani Sipli, swift flowing river in the Cree language. In the early 20th century the province became known as a stronghold for Canadian democratic socialism. Tommy Douglas, who was Premier from 